So now I'm going to demonstrate how to properly give a vaccine. That's one of these mixed powder liquid kinds, and Kelsey's going to help me. So first you're going to have on your gloves, then you're going to tighten your needle on your syringe. Now we already have liquid drawn up in this syringe, but the first thing we would do is insert the needle into the liquid container and pull back until we have all of the liquid. Then you don't recap your needle, so you put your cap down. You're going to take your bottle with the powder, insert the needle, this one's cut, insert the needle, and push the plunger down until all the liquid is in there. Then you pull this out, and you don't recap it, but you just are careful that it's not pointing at someone where they're going to walk into it or anything. Then you turn this a couple of times until it mixes well. Then you put your needle back in and pull back until all of your liquid. If you have air in there, you push the air back in. There's our liquid. Okay, so go until you have all the liquid in the needle. Then if you have any extra air in here, which I have about a half a cc of air, you push that back into the bottle so that when you pull out, you shouldn't have really any air bubbles in there. So there we go. So now we're going to lift the skin over the shoulder, not in between the shoulders, but over the scapula. You can kind of make a tent like this. You want to be parallel to the back and with the bevel, which is this little point, down. So then you make this tent, so you've got kind of a triangle shape. You'd inject it in. Once you have it injected under the skin, you want to pull back. It should be a little bit hard to pull back. You shouldn't get any blood in there, but if it pulls back really easy, you've just gone through the skin and you're going to give the injection on the other side of the skin. Then once you pull back, then you slowly push all the way down until all of the liquid is out of the syringe. Then you're going to put a cotton ball or something where the syringe touches the skin or where the needle touches the skin, pull the needle out, and then you've got your pressure to hold it just in case it bleeds a drop or two. And then you want to make sure that this needle gets into a sharps container, the syringe goes wherever your syringes are, this might need to go into a container with glass things, and make sure you properly dispose of your gloves as well.